Hello wonderful people, I want to show you an easy way to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2. My system is using version 23H2. So to upgrade, I'm going to download the ISO file then upgrade without losing my apps and files. So click on the link in the description and it's going to take you over to this page. So what you have to do is have to log in with your email and password. So I put my email and password and I say next to login. So here it says register for Windows Insider program. And I'm going to accept and click register now. Welcome to Windows Insider program. Register now. So click on the window insider preview ISO to download the operating system. So scroll down towards the end of the page. You select your edition. You have to be careful here. You need to choose Insider Preview Release Preview Channel Build 2600.560 and click on Confirm. Then choose your language. I'm going to go with English, United States. Then click on 64 bit download. So that is it being downloaded. It is above 5 gigabytes. So make sure you have enough data to take care of it. So I'm going to unzip it. To a location or a folder, and at the end of the, of this, we're going to start the installation process. It's quite an easy one, especially when we know that we have the option to keep our files and our apps while we upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11. It's been a tedious year for software manufacturers. We've seen several updates from most of them. Some uh, two months interval, they keep updating because the softwares are getting bigger and complicated. So we tend to see more challenging uh, situations and uh, feedback from the software users. So that's done. So we go to the setup file and run as administrator. Say yes. And the installation process should begin. So here we keep everything at default. You don't need to change anything here. So we we'll click on next. So we have to accept the license terms. Does it make sure you're ready to install? Getting update. 
So I'm going to speed up this process. So this is all you need to do. Just keep saying yes, next, and till we are done with the whole installation. So it's checking if you have enough space on your PC. And here it says install version, install windows, keep personal files and apps. So this is the beauty of this upgrade. You have to keep your files and apps. So you can come here to check some other options. In case if you want to do a clean installation, you can wipe out everything you have on your hard drive by choosing nothing. So I'm going to say next because I want to keep my files and my apps. So I'm going to say install and that's it and that's it installing Windows 11 just started so I'm going to speed up the process until this stage gets to 100%. So, say getting things ready. The computer had to restart, so I had to use my phone. And we are back. So let's go check the version we have now. And there we have it, version 24H2. And that's the date it was installed and the OS build. So I'm going to use this version for some days to see if I can find any good or ugly thing about this version. So going into my drive C, I can see the windows old, which is expected to disappear after 28 days. All right. So that is uh, the whole process of downloading and installing the newest Windows 11 24H2. And as you can see, we have the names of the icons now in this version. And also to compress a file to zip, 7z and the rest. So I'm beginning to see the new addition to this version. This is where I'll be stopping this video. I'll see you on the next one.